Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about USB 3.1 Gen 2 and the NAS that support it. Why should you care and which ones have it? Let's go. Now USB 3 has been really confusing for a little while now. Instead of when USB 3 was kind of around for a good chunk of years, I think four or five years, they started talking about a new version of USB. And that new version of USB should have been USB 4, but it wasn't. They decided to reorganize the entire USB spectrum and called it USB 3.1 Gen 2, labeling the old version that was formerly USB 3 to USB 3.1 Gen 1. Are you with me so far? It's bloody confusing. But USB 3.1 Gen 2, I'm gonna keep calling it throughout this video, is 10 gigabits per second. And that's equivocable, uh, equivalent to Thunderbolt 1. It is a great fast connection. And if you've got USB 3.1 Gen 2 on your PC, uh, or you've got a storage drive that USB 3.1 Gen 2, then if you've got a NAS that USB 3.1 Gen 2, you can connect that external storage drive to it and access much, much faster speeds for that external drive. Now, why should you care? Well, USB 3.1 Gen 2, something I'm really getting sick of saying, but I'm gonna stick with it, um, is something that's only really broken into NAS relatively recently. It's not been a new addition. It's just been something that's been added over time. Um, and newer and newer NAS devices, because the concept of having an external drive that acts very, very fast indeed for backups or just accessing an external drive on the go has been very, very appealing. But it isn't just that. It's because of things like Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 3 in that USB Type-C connector that's so popular is also compatible with USB 3.1 Gen 2. The result is that a number of you out there who want to have just an external drive, you've got a Thunderbolt port on one of your new Mac or Windows systems, connect to USB 3.1 Gen 2 drive to, you know, back up to, to put photos when you're on the go, photos from a shoot or something you've been doing for work, and then when you carry it over to the NAS, you want a NAS that has this fast connection. Don't get me wrong, it is completely backwards compatible. You can connect a USB 3.1 Gen 2 drive to a USB 1 or USB 2 port, as long as it's USB uh, yeah, we'll get to that in another video. Um, but once you connect that, you will only get the max speed of the lowest port between the two. So it doesn't matter how fast the drive is. You will always be limited by the slowest connection in the pairing, in this case, USB 2 or USB 3. USB um, 3, standard USB 3.1 Gen 1, is 5 gigabits per second. And I know it's confusing, don't worry. But long story short, if you are looking for a NAS to transfer data from a USB 3.1 Gen 2 drive, you need to look at the following devices. You need to look at the 7.3 series, so that's the QNAP TVS 473, 673 and 873, not the ones with the E on the end, they've removed that. Next, the Thunderbolt series, because all of those Thunderbolt ports, one of those on all the Thunderbolt NASes supports USB 3.1 Gen 2 as well. So you've got that built in too. Um, the 7.7 series, so the TS677, 877, 1277 and TVS 1677X have all got USB 3.1 Gen 2. And more important than anything, if you've got a QNAP with an available PCIe slot, you can install USB 3.1 Gen 2. Like the card above me is a StarTech card that will be in the description. That one, very, very, I think it's like 25, 30 quid. And that adds four super fast USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports to your machine. Now, currently there is no Synology NAS that has this port, which is super annoying because the number of you out there with Thunderbolt ports are Mac users and Mac users love Synology. And you want to be able to take advantage of this port because the number of Thunderbolt external drives actually can be connected to USB 3.1 um, uh, Gen 2 ports. There's lots of compatibility there that Synology are overlooking. QNAP, on the other hand, support Thunderbolt NAS, and they support USB 3.1 Gen 2 NAS as well. So again, that is the importance of USB 3.1 Gen 2 that I'm sick of saying, and that that is why you need to consider it, particularly for, again, video editors, photo editors in your workflow because it will speed things up, and particularly those fast-acting backups, where you want a NAS 
back up to an external drive and take with you away. Um, and do bear in mind, one, that USB 3.1 Gen 2 on a NAS cannot be used as a direct form of attachment. It's only for external storage and external devices. And two, if you do have a Thunderbolt NAS, although you can connect a Thunderbolt NAS to a Thunderbolt computer in a direct attached storage situation, you can't use it in a USB situation like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this incredibly complex topic still made it through this video. If you enjoyed this, or at least appreciate the effort of saying USB 3.1 Gen 2 about 8 million times, chuck me a like and subscribe, and don't forget to visit nascompares.com. See you later.